Hey, what's going on YouTube? Running back here. We're back in Whaleboro. Uh, had a little bit of time off of uh, Whaleboro uh, playing the Long Dark. You know, there's a uh, there's a Long Dark community event going on, so I streamed uh, a couple of uh, a couple of Long Dark runs on Twitch. Uh, but I promise, like I promised before, we're not going to do Twitch for Minecraft um, because you know, I'm here. So, um, did some more work on the vineyard. Uh, you'll notice that I did put the orange back in. Um, the and we'll we'll fix that up when we come through with that, when we paint it all up. Um, I also brought the winery in. So the winery I did build on my uh, my test platform for this server. Um, it's I'm gonna call it my test platform. It's just the arrow and map uh, where there's nothing else there. And I'd already claimed this area, so I knew that I was safe in uh, building a fairly, fairly good-sized winery. Um, now, the winery itself, hang on, I'll tell you what it's based off of. Um, the winery itself is based off of the Satui uh, Vineyard um, in, uh, in California. Also, there's some uh, there's some Robert Mondavi uh, vineyard action in here as well, but but I decided this would look pretty good. Um, this right here, of course, is you know it's just like a little little deck. You can kind of overlook the area, do that kind of thing. Let's get rid of that for now. Uh, you can just kind of overlook the the bay here and uh, you know across the pond with the large temple. You can't really see Whaleboro from here very well. Um, Actually, Primitive Panther is over there uh, building right now. Uh, he's recording, so we won't go bug him. But uh, he's building right there right now. Um, and Mr. Traveler, I think, is actually asleep. But uh, so this is uh, this is the internal. This is going to be um, where the um, the owner of the vineyard uh, lives. Uh, this is his house in this tower. Um, and then, of course, this is. Kind of an entryway of sorts um where he can go out and go out and you know see the vineyard and, you know see whatever it is and uh and do that kind of thing this is actually a uh this is just kind of an overlook area you know here's some benches and stuff there's going to be your tables and stuff there's going to be some chairs um here for people to um you know come to the vineyard and you know have some wine have you know relax uh, I think I'll put kind of a cooking area thing over here, like an outside thing, so they can eat some some you know, vineyard food, maybe some cheeses, that kind of thing. Um, and then this is going to be a covered area. I just haven't gotten to that yet. I've done some of the stylized stuff, um, but I haven't done detail work yet. Um, you come in here, and this is the actual vineyard. Here's the platform here, and a platform here for crushing the grapes. Um, the grapes come in through this door. Uh, this goes straight out into the vineyard. And if you remember correctly, we did put an orchard down there. Um, I also put this um, this nice, relaxing little pond area over here. Uh, we're going to spruce that up, of course, with some brushes, a little bit of world edit action, uh, then paths and whatnot. Um, I have done I have done a whole color pattern, so I I know what I'm putting in certain places. Um, this brown area, of course, is still under negotiation with myself on exactly how I want to do that. Um, but but yeah, that's so that's uh, that's how it is right now. Now I am going to build and. Honestly, I think it might be down down here. Um, this will be the the workers uh, the workers quarters and where they live for the uh, vineyard, the people that tend the vineyard, that kind of thing. I think it'll be down there, or it'll be over here. Um, but they're going to have to have um, there's going to have to be working areas or living areas for the workers. So we'll do that now. Here, this is this is my rough out of the kegs. Now, I do have something special in mind for the kegs, you know, where they, where the, the wine uh, is, um, where it's fermented, uh, that whole system. I do have a really clever idea for that, and we'll get to that um, not on this episode, but on a future episode. 
um, because I'm going to build one and see if my idea works. And if it does, then hey, great. So what we're going to do in this episode, though, we're going to look at our color palette. So this is a color palette I chose for us. Um, you notice there's some sandstony looks. Um, this actually, did I already do this? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Um, so we're going to grab this, and we're going to just we're just going to go through, and we're going to detail out. It's going to be detailing a building, building with Ronan. A little a little world edit action. I know I did a uh, I did a world edit video um, last week. Um, and that actually did very well. There's a lot of people that uh, really enjoyed it. Um, one or two people said that it was really long. I didn't quite mean for it to be as long as it was, um, but there was a lot of stuff to cover. And I think uh, probably what I should have done is um, separate it out into uh, more than just two episodes. There is another there is another world edit episode um, that's going to come out, and um, in fact, I plan on recording it right after I do this episode. Um, that way, you know, we can get it out there, and you know, people can see some of the different things. Um, you know, I've got I've got a couple of other. Items with world edit that I that I want to show you that you can do um, that are really helpful for um, for building in um, you know in conquest or just in you know in Minecraft even if it's not conquest you know even if you're if say you're not using the conquest reforged mod but you're you're using your own some other mod uh, you know it'll it will still it will still work it's still world edit. Um, so we'll just we'll show how that how that works, and uh, yeah, I think you, I think I think you'll enjoy it. Um, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of functionality with World Edit that um, there's a lot of things that World Edit has that people um, don't use, and and you really should. Um, you should use them. Um, there's also a lot of things with World Edit that I mean, I don't, I just, I don't use them. I don't have. I can't imagine um, building in creative um, using some of the features that World Edit can do, and and as a result, um, I'm not going to show those. Um, Number one, because I don't use them, um, and and not just that I don't use them, but I don't use them, and I I, I don't really know much about them. So rather than um, rather than show you something that I don't know how to use uh, and that I don't use, um, I'm going to show you the things that I do use and that I use a lot. And um, that way, maybe it helps it, you know, my, my objective here is to make world edit less scary and uh, less, um, oh, only people that do big builds use world edit. And, you know, take the, take the fear out of, out of world edit because it's really, you know, it's nothing to be afraid of at all. It, it really isn't. It's, a, it's an incredible tool. Um, and it can really be used to your advantage. Um, and not just if you're doing big builds, you know, even, even with smaller builds, you know, using world edit is, it's fantastic. I mean, you can use it for, you can use it for things like terraforming. Um, you can use it, uh, you know, for... I mean, gosh, like, I mean, just about, just about anything, really. Um, the, the, the things that it can do, oh, see, here's one thing that we need to, we need to fix that, because otherwise it won't extend quite right. Um, and that, this is, this is a, uh, this is something that when you are doing uh, world edit, or when, if you're painting, you know, I call this painting, 
um, if you're painting your um, your textures on um, and you have blocks that are behind blocks and you have blocks that are connected textures um, then you need to make sure that you hit those blocks that are behind the block so that you get the connected texture to to display correctly otherwise it's going to look kind of funky we're probably going to change that one right there i'll be honest um because this is um this is a uh, balcony right here uh, so we'll probably change that one a little bit I haven't decided yet but yeah so just make sure because see like so you got a corner block here corner block looks it looks good it looks even corner 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 keeps extending goes through to the corner so it looks right right so just make sure you do that um there was a long period of time where i didn't do that and i couldn't figure out you know, why are my why are my uh my textures not looking right um and i'm actually trying to decide right now if i want to um get rid of this block right here in favor of the um the wider looking one of this you know i think i might i think i might do that. let's do let's just for grins let's see how that let's see how this looks i actually kind of like it i actually kind of like it a lot not right there though oh shoot And we'll finish this up right here. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Looks good. I like it. All right. Uh, what was the other one I was going to do? Oh, yes. We're going to put that up high. And we want this one right below this. So, when you're when you're picking your textures. Say you're using, you're going to be using world edit, and you're going to be you build with wool. So you do your all your structural with wool, um, and you're picking your textures. It's important to pick complementary textures. Now there's a couple of different ways to do that. Um, one of those ways is uh, you use the color palette. Um, Oh, Primitive Panther's talking to me. Uh, one of those ways is you use the color palette. Oh, I don't like that. Um, another one of those ways is you, you do trial and error, right? Um, you get certain, um, certain colors that you really like that go well together. And you um, you use those and you kind of match them up and put them in your put them in your color palette like kind of like I, I have over there where you have a color palette going and that way you can really see you know what what is this going to look like together um, now one thing I am going to do with this uh, and I can't believe I didn't think about it um, this is this is either stucco or plaster I can't remember which. Um, and there is a version of this that's called clean, meaning there's no cracks. And I'm going to show you what, what we can do to make this look even better than it is right now. Yeah, let me just tell him, hey man. Good. Recording an episode. Recording. 
See, I spell badly sometimes. It's a thing. It drives me crazy too. If if I if I spell something wrong, it just it it drives me nuts. If I don't spell it correctly. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to go see what it is he built over there because it looks pretty cool. Um, but I'm not gonna do that on camera because uh, Primitive Panther and I have it's kind of an agreement that I'm not gonna show his stuff on camera unless he's he's uh, ready to show it, and he won't show my stuff on camera unless I'm ready to show it. So uh, you know, it's a it's a mutual mutual respect thing. All right, so what is this? Stucco, okay. So clean, clean yellow stucco. Stucco, I think that's, I think that's what I want. Yeah, that's it. So what we're gonna do, See this? So by doing this, we remove some of the weird, you know, the 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 chips and whatnot throughout here. This is all going to be this part's all going to be um, hidden anyway by the roof. But this will be visible. So we don't necessarily want that many cracks and gouges in the stucco. Um, you know, and though though it looks cool, um, it's I do want it to be a little cleaner. So we just come through. What are you doing, man? Um, I do want it to be a little cleaner. <laughs> primitive, primitive Panther, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I do want it to be a little cleaner. Um, so, so I, I that's why I do that. I go through and do that, and you got to leave some of it because it gives it a nice little, a nice looking texture, you know. So you got to leave some. Um, and did I pick a, I don't think I did pick a, a wood for that. Oh wait, no, yes I did. Yes I did. That's right. We were looking at this. So the reference pictures that I have um, for, um, for the winery. I'm using a very similar color pattern. Um, and it uses these dark, this dark wood. And I like it. I really, I really like it. I really like the way it just, it, it's, it, it's very offset from the the lightness of the building and it gives it gives a really nice contrast uh we're only going to go to there because you know we'll, we'll just we're going to build this like like there's not another building right here um because we're just going to come through later and get rid of what we don't need so we'll do it that way um but I like I like this contrast. I like the way it looks. Um, it, it gives it a very I don't know. It, it's it's kind of a an expensive feel to it, and I can actually smell the uh, wine casks um, with with this wood on there. I, and and I I don't know how to describe it. I don't. I don't know how to um, relay that similar message um, as to you know what what that 
what that color makes me feel, why it does that. But and I think I think part of it is because um, I toured a winery, and um, the uh, the uh, rail. Um, I think we're going to go with iron railings um, because nothing else has the right feel to it. So we're going to go with iron railings. Ooh, that's going to be a problem. That's okay. We can we can adjust for that. Okay. Um. What do we want? Acacia wood? Acacia wood like that? Hmm. Kind of like it. Kind of like it. What else does that have? That have... Oh, you know what? Hmm. Okay. So this is part of the fun of... Um, of, of doing this and frequently when I do this kind of thing when I do the detail type work um, I do it um, I oops I do it off screen and I realized that um, the other day that a lot of times the detail stuff that I do I'll do it I do it off screen I thought you know I'm kind of I'm kind of shortchanging the channel by not showing how I uh, come up with some of these these ideas with this. Um, so today we're going to do it this way. Oop, that didn't. No, that's not cool. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Sometimes that works. I'm not sure why it does that, but it does. And that could be a problem for that. So I think what we'll do We'll bring those up to there, to that point. Yeah. See, sometimes you have to make, um, you may have to make design changes. And yeah, that's, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Um, the design changes where you're completely altering your design because you messed up and counted wrong. Those are the ones that are the most fun because you're trying to figure out uh, how can I, how can I maintain the look that I wanted? Oops. Um, while using, oh God, I was doing so well. While using, using the area, I'm just, I'm batting a thousand right now. While using the area that, um, that you've got, um, because oftentimes what will happen, you know, you 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 have to make a, a, a massive design change because say you say you didn't make the building um, an odd number uh, wide, and now your roof is kind of off. I may actually take those up a little further. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I do. Um, but yeah, you, for whatever reason, um, you make the, um, the building an even number as far as like this way to this way. So you can't do the peak in the center, right? So you wouldn't be able to do this peak. Um, there's ways of adjusting for that. There's ways of accounting for that and making it look like it's still an even number building even though it's not. All right, so, so don't don't fret, don't worry about that kind of thing. Yeah, it looks pretty pretty darn good if I do say so myself. Pretty darn good. All right, so next thing that we're gonna do 
there and is that gonna look funny if I do that there? Yeah it is. Because this is in the wrong spot. If that matches up to there, it doesn't necessarily match up to the door here. So that's okay. Um, we're going to throw a little bit of this in. Oop, there we go. You got to do your post and lintel. You know, make it, make it fancy. Um, and I'm going to do something a little bit different in here, I think. I think I'm going to do... Um, this the angle angle version I'll do this and I'll do the same over here and as you can see yes in fact I do I do frequently uh, go individual block that's not going to look right is it Nope. Guess we're gonna have to do this. It's okay. All right, and we're gonna need some lantern type things here. And I think what we're going to do, we're going to make it like this. Lantern. Um, <laughs> that looks like a fancy one. Let's see if it, see how it looks. Yep, that's it. That's the one. Good. Which means that we have to do that here, right there, right there. And we'll grab this little cap here, there. Maintain this feel throughout. There we go. What? Did I grab the wrong one? Shit. There we go. Oh no, you know no, you know what? I didn't grab the wrong one. There we go. There. There we go. There's our that's the right vibe. That's the right vibe. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to build this out. Um, now this isn't necessarily what I was planning on doing on this episode. Uh, I was just planning on doing a little detail out, but we'll just add a little add a little bit of time to this episode. I think I think you guys will forgive me. Um, I am still going to do the um, the uh, world edit episode after this, even though this has been kind of a world edit, world edit heavy episode. But I think you guys like it, so. So that's okay. And look at look what I'm doing. I'm doing block actual block by block placing. Weird. See? I'm growing as a person. Growing as a person. For a little while. What is that? Set thirty-five seven. You can only grow so much as a person. We'll do we'll do tall windows here. I think I think it'll look good. Yeah. yeah it'll look good. Yeah. Oop, not there.
Okie dokie. Now we want to go from here to here. Do that. And there to there. Do that. And yeah. yeah, sometimes sometimes you can only there's only so many things you can do with uh, world dead as far as speeding builds up. Um, and some things, I mean, sometimes you just gotta go, you know, to place individual blocks. Um, I could have made this, I could have made this a pure world edit, uh, um, construction had I not, um, sliced the windows where I wanted them first. You know, had I, had I, um, just, you know, blocked out the building and then come in later and painted it. Um, then it would have been 100% the straight up world edit. But I think it's important that we do some block by block. That's not even the right block. Is that? I guess that is three. Huh. Okay. There we go. We got our fancy schmancy windows in our little door area. Let's uh, we'll do that. We we'll do that. And nope, I guess we need to uh I guess we need to do this, don't we? Do that one. See that's how you that's how you make it you world edit the heck out of it. Okay. So looks a lot better. Looks like it's coming coming together nicely there. Um and this building, you know, we'll we'll stylize it out. Um, see, let me let me check on our time here. See how crazy we've gotten. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hold right there. Um, and the rest of the vineyard build we're going to do together. Um, I'm going to. This is going to be multiple parts, multiple episodes for doing the uh, the vineyard and the winery. And we're going to do this together. I'm not going to do any more of this off camera. Um, I wanted to get the the layout of how it roughly how I wanted it to look. I wanted to get that down off camera, but now that it's here and we're going, I'm gonna do the rest of this build on camera, um, and probably I'll probably not even do any time lapses on it. Um, there is a <coughs> excuse me a really big time lapse that. Um, that I am working on, um, and that's for a, another project within the Whaleboro universe or Whaleboro uh, uh, world, um, and that's going to be all time lapse. And um, I really hope you guys like it uh, because I put a lot of thought into it and I put a lot of work into it. Um, and I. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be really good. I actually think it might be one of my more popular uh, videos that I do um, because of the nature of what it is. We are going to get back over to the prison. Um, I'm, I'll have a time lapse on that. Um, and of course, we do have some more buildings over there in Whaleboro that we need to finish up, like that one right there, which is like an eyesore because it's not built. And then there's, there's some detailing within the town. That I gotta do, but uh, you know, primitive panthers already moving out here, so we've got uh, we've got quite a bit of stuff. You know, we we just keep expanding, um, and I don't want to. 
I don't want us to expand into the forest too much, but I think it's going to happen. What is that? What did Mr. Tour Tourist do? What is this? I think that's Mr. Tourist. Ooh, that's either Mr. Tourist or Road of Panther. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check with them and see who did that. That's co that looks cool. Uh, and I don't want to showcase something that's not ready for being showcased, uh, which reminds me, I'll, let me turn my camera away from over there. Because over there is where the big time lapse is going on. So, um, but yeah, so, oh, this tree. So that tree is one of the ones, that's the orchard tree. Um, there's this tree, which I really like, and I saved it and I put it up there. Um, this tree, I actually saved it. It was there, but it was in a little different position, and I really like it, so I put it back. But trees like that that I like, I try not to cut down trees and just take them away. So I like to keep trees there because I think it looks good. And to be quite, quite honest, I am terrible at trees. So if I can keep a tree, I'm going to keep a tree. So. So like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, this is Ronan. We'll see you, well, we'll see you on the next video, which will be a, uh, a world edit video. Take care now. Bye-bye.